What is going on guys? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture. I got a short little creative video for you guys today. Before I get into everything, I know that a lot of us in the community have had a crazy week, week and a half here. Uh, and I just want to have everyone put some prayers and positive energy out because we lost OMG Chris a week and a half ago and now his brother Sean after just, you know, going through everything he's been through and everything that he has on his plate. Um, he's in the hospital right now, and I hope this is okay for me to say this publicly, but I want to say it because I want everyone watching to just, whether you believe in the power of prayer, whether you believe in the power of just sending thoughts out into the universe, I just want everyone to, you know, take a moment and just think positive thoughts and positive prayers for Sean to hope that he can make it through this and get back to some good health because you know we 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 definitely we need him um so just wanted to say that and with that out of the way let's get into a little video guys so i was actually back uh boxing up and getting stuff ready to ship from omg chris's the auction that we had last saturday and i had a bunch of these um uh, mailers these priority mailboxes and i had a a little idea and this may seem kind of cheesy to some of you but you know for those that like to be on the kind of do-it-yourself creative side hey it may be kind of fun i was also watching a library of comics i believe news i'm newly sub to him but he had a little uh, creative thing that he does to his boxes i'm gonna give him a shout out not that i'm doing the same thing that he's doing because he was just adding a certain uh type of art to his short boxes but i just want to give him a shout out right now because you know, he kind of inspired me to uh, come do this video on a topic about how to be creative with boxes and storing uh, comics. So, this right here is a priority mail medium flat rate box. There's two side. There's two types of medium flat rate boxes. Um, there's one that's that's flatter and wider. Uh, I don't know the exact measurements on this, but uh, you can kind of see <laughs> the size that it is. And guys, I taped up the bottom of the box, left the top flaps uh, straight, and they're actually connected, so they're actually pretty sturdy. I did add some tape over here just to do, as a reinforcement, but uh, they're, they are connected. And look, guys, they fit comics almost perfectly. Now, all I did, um, and they, they don't, they're, it's a little wider and they don't fit magazines, they're a little small for magazines, but all I did was added a Gemini mailer and it fit, I don't know if you guys could see this, it fit perfectly lengthwise and the length and the, the width for the extra space to just boop, plop it right in there. And look at this. So I know these, these books need to be rebagged and boarded. They're nasty. But these books were actually sitting out of a box. I know I'm usually extremely OCD about keeping care of my books and keeping them in boxes and everything. But they were right there up against the wall. I mean, I had them stacked nicely. Um like, you know, filed up, not flat down for the longest. And I finally just put them in here. And I mean, look, I, I actually like the fact that they sit slightly above. Um, that way it's easy to kind of just get your fingers in here and flip. Yeah, this is my, by the way, this is my Peter Parker Spider-Man run with some oddball. I told Driver I like everything Spider-Man. This is just like some oddball freaking... <laughs> spider-man stuff in here i've read all of it anyways so so yeah guys if you want now so these are free priority mailbox or mail uh bo yeah mail boxes are free not a mailbox but a mail box i <laughs> get it <laughs> sorry anyways these are free you can go to your local uh post office i know that a lot of people aren't going out right now i actually didn't go to my post office either i went on usps.com and ordered them so as long as you have an account, it doesn't cost anything to create a UPS, uh, USPS account. You just create an account and you can put an order in for some free shipping boxes. And you can come out here and make storage boxes for your comics. Um, especially if you're in dire need right now because LCSs are closed. Um, you know, even like BCW, if you're ordering from BCW, they're so backlogged and back ordered right now that uh, who knows when you're going to get boxes if you even can order them. So um, these came, I put this order in on, I forget, but the, it, it took like only two or three days for them to get here. So I'm telling you, I mean, like I said, even if it's just temporary for right now during this lockdown, you, you need some storage uh, and you can even 
Um, Gemini mailers. I oh wait, where where did I see it? I don't know if USPS has any gem, uh, sells Gemini mailers, but I would just Google Gemini mailers, and you could probably see where to get them offline. They are fairly cheap. I think I forget where I was looking, but I mean there was like a a pack of five for two bucks. So um, and they, they might be a generic brand, but fit right in. There are uh, generic Gemini mailers that are longer. Um, they're about, shoot, it's, it's like, it's these ones right here and they're bigger. So you just got to be careful. So if you get the priority boxes, do a measurement. I've not done that yet. Um, but I'm assuming they're about, uh, about eight, eight inches wide by maybe, what is that? It looks a little bit longer than a foot. So anyways. Anyways, guys, now, lastly, what you can do to these things is you can decorate them. So as I was doing over here with the regular short box, I was, and no, I didn't cut up comic books. Um, other people might do this and that's okay. I'm not going to get mad at you, but I cringe. Even if it's a 50 cent comic book, I cannot ever cut up a comic book ever. So I will just print some stuff out uh, and Mod Podge it. And the good thing about Mod Podge is once you put the clear coat on, it's like a protective coat. So, uh, you know, you can't like it rip it. It's pretty sturdy and coated on there. So it's almost like a plastic covering. So you can, you know, if you want to cut up a whole comic book that's not worth anything or print, you know, if you have a printer, uh, you can print some stuff out. Uh, cut it up. Plop it on here. Get yourself some Mod Podge. I'm sure right now you can order Mod Podge from Amazon. Might might take a little while with the delays. Target, though. Um, Target still has like two-day shipping. Walmart still has two-day shipping. Um, and you can Mod Podge some stuff on here, which I'm going to do. I'm going to Mod Podge this and decorate it and just make it look cool. So once, if you know, if it's, if it's all covered, you won't even know that this is a post office... Uh, packaging box so that's my little video for today guys i just i thought it would, would be cool to share uh something creative like i said some of you may think it's silly some of you may enjoy it but that's that guys uh again i want to send a reminder to my to all you watching to go check out my 1500 subscriber contest video and uh, get some some entries in for that uh, ha have a chance to win some some awesome prizes and lastly as i said in the beginning of the video big prayers up to uh sean mcdaniel and uh you know he's definitely in in our thoughts in our hearts and hopefully he can come out of this and uh you know <sighs> yeah all right guys thank you again for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and until next time